Greetings, my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome to my car. On this rainy May 5th, today I'll be tasting McDonald's new signature crafted hamburgers. I'm going to be doing this like fast food vlogger style. But the whole reason why I'm here is because today and only today, this Friday, May 5th, McDonald's is going to be giving away the fork. I posted this on my social media. It's a silicone red fork like thing where you use french fries like the tines of a fork. It'll be clear later in the video. <laughs> so the whole campaign is that you have to order one of these burgers to get the fork. So I ordered all three just so I could, you know, see what they're all about. All right, if you like these kinds of fast food videos, do let me know in the comments. So I went through the drive-through. I didn't have my camera set up, unfortunately, because I am an amateur <laughs> at this whole car vlogging business. But the manager was very kind, and because I ordered three burgers, he gave me three forks. So if you're interested in one of these, make sure to go to my social media and see how you can you know, win one of these. This idea of having a gadget that is seemingly useful but in actuality is useless actually is a Japanese idea. It's called chindogu, and there are tons of really, really funny, funny inventions. And for it to truly be chindogu, there's a whole list of tenants that you must follow. I think the fork is loosely based on this idea. So here it is. This is what it looks like. It says signature crafted recipes, McDonald's, and it's made out of kind of the squishy silicone, and it's hollow on this end. And what you do is you insert three french fries in it <laughs> and those are going to be the tines of your fork totally useless because you can't pick up a single thing with this but you can eat it <laughs> mm. makes for an unusual delivery mechanism but charming in some kind of useless kind of way so i'm absolutely starving so let's go ahead and get on with the taste test and when i went through the drive-thru i was initiated on how to order them there's three burgers there's the pico de gallo the sweet barbecue bacon and the maple bacon dijon you can order two types of bun you can either have a sesame bun or an artisanal style bun and for your meat you have two options you can either go with the chicken which you can either have grilled or crispy or you can have the beef patty so i got various combinations of those <laughs> Let's start with the pico de gallo. This is how it comes. Signature crafted in this box. And there is the burger. Shiny bun almost looks like a brioche. Inside we have, ooh, generous amount of guacamole. Looks like some cheese. A little bit of pico de gallo, which is that salsa. Some lettuce, actually looks like leaf lettuce. Nicely toasted bun. A little squirt of ranchy style sauce. Toasted bun. And there is my beef patty. So let me hit some fries. Have a sip of Coke. Ooh. God, I love Coke. I love Coke. This burger was $4.99, pretty reasonably priced for such a burger. It smells pretty good. It smells like salsa. Itadakimasu. Mmm. 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 Lots of guacamole, which I love. It actually goes pretty well with the burger. The meat is a bit dry, but it is McDonald's after all. So I'm tasting some of the onion and salsa in there. There might be a little bit of heat in there. Let me give another taste. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe not. I think what I would have liked is the cheese to be a little bit more melted. And while the bun looks very, very pretty, I think I actually prefer a really squishy, soft bun that we normally get with a hamburger. Oops, I'm getting pico everywhere. Next, let's try the maple bacon Dijon. I got this with chicken. That's what that one looks like. And this one too, I got with the artisan roll. This contains two pieces of bacon, some of the Dijon dressing, lettuce, melty cheese, looks like caramelized onion, crispy chicken and that's it this too has the cheese could be a little bit more melted look maple dijon here we go mm. the first thing i noticed right away has a really strong smoky flavor to it which isn't bad it's just strong it is a little bit sweet I do like the crispy chicken, but there's something happening with my taste buds and my brain with my associations with McDonald's because when I have crispy chicken, I want a McChicken, and this isn't a McChicken. It's trying to be fancier, but somehow I just want a McChicken. 
Mm-hmm. My mind is saying, why are you messing with my McDonald's? Just give me a McDonald's. But perhaps if I didn't have that association, I'd be more happy with this. It's not that it tastes bad, but it's nothing extraordinary. The chicken cutlet is crispy, and then you've got the bacon, and you've got the cheese, and then you've got that artisan bread as well. Again, the bun's a little bit dry, the bacon's a little bit dry, the cheese isn't as melty, the chicken is crispy. All together, it doesn't seem to really work that well for me. I need more squishy mayo or something kind of just binding this all together. Um, yeah. The last one I have is the sweet bacon barbecue. So there's the sesame bun, looks very, very familiar. Ooh, this has crispy onions on it, barbecue sauce, three slices of bacon, cheese, looks like grilled onions, burger. So two types of onions, maybe? This one looks good. Let's give that a go. Hmm. I had high hopes for this because there were two types of onions on this, crispy onions and grilled onions, but they really don't do that much. There is a little bit of a textural crunch, which I enjoy, but mostly what you taste is the sweet barbecue sauce and kind of a dry burger patty. The bun I like better. The bun is squishier and more familiar in terms of my associations with a burger. But in terms of just moisture content, this one too is lacking that kind of cohesiveness that comes with the sauce that comes from a Big Mac or the mayo that comes with a McChicken or the tons of tartar sauce that comes with a filet of fish. In terms of flavor, this one is the least complex of the three, but in terms of texture, I like this one the most because it does have that crispy onion in it. Of the three, I think I like the Pico de Gallo one the best. If you want to try it, I think I'd actually try it with the chicken rather than the burger because I felt the burger was a little bit dry. So it seems like McDonald's is trying to get fancy with all this, but why mess with what is quintessentially classically McDonald's? I don't know. Soda Fountain Coke, man. Nothing better. All right, thanks you guys so much for tuning in this rainy car day edition of Emmy Goes Through the drive through Hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know if you've tried any of these burgers, if you managed to get yourself a fork and what you plan on doing <laughs> with it. And I shall see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share it with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. <laughs>